this is how vet school is like now. It's not all farms and animals and puppies and kittens. I'm looking at worms, okay? I'm Jasmine. I'm a year one vet student in Murdoch University and this is my finals vlog to document the finishing of my year one. And today is one day before my parasitology theory finals. It's a bit last minute but I'm cramming. I'm cramming for my exams. Today's a Wednesday, um, the 10th of November. I'm going to be studying today and training. Tomorrow is my finals and on Friday is my livestock science finals. And after my livestock science finals, I'm gonna do my physiology assignment, which I have not started on. And throughout the weekend, I'm gonna be finishing off my assignment. Uh, the submission day is on Monday, and I'll be doing that. Monday, I'll be working as well. And next Wednesday, I will be studying for my parasitology practical exam. Thursday will be my final finals for year one. So I'll be ending off my year one with a parasitology finals. Life is great. Yep. So let's get to training. Yeah. with my morning training. I'm off to study the entire day. I am gonna catch up on my practice papers and lectures. So with a few hours left, I rushed through the remaining of my parasitology lecture. The lecture is mainly based on aquatic parasites, so the main ectoparasites for aquatic animals that I learned are monogeneans, protozoans, and crustaceans. And the reason why it's so hard to treat aquatic fishes, animals, uh, is because they live in the aquatic environment, obviously. So the water makes it really hard to administer medication. And number two, very little research is done on aquatic parasites and uh, diseases. A lot of medication given by vets to your aquatic pets are off-label, which means the medication isn't intended for use for that animal, but it'll probably work. And this is a little stretch break before I continue studying. And this is me finally doing the past year practice paper. You know, looking back and doing this voiceover, I have no idea why I did this so last minute. Alright, this is full. 
potato mode. I'm trying to cram in some more information before my 9.30 finals tomorrow. I'm gonna look through the Discord chat and look through all the other answers that my other course mates have given for the practice paper and then compare mine with them. And yeah, after that, I'm just gonna sleep and hopefully I do well for the finals tomorrow. This is how that school is like now. This is how it looks like now. It's, it's not all farms and animals and puppies and kittens. I'm looking at worms, okay, for the exams and yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. So the rest of the night was effectively spent correcting my past year paper and also clarifying my concepts on the Discord chat. Good morning! It's currently 8am. Sorry for the bloodshot eye. I am gonna study a bit more, like around an hour-ish gonna finalize some details about my parasitology knowledge and then I'm off to my one and a half hour finals. I don't know how it'll go honestly because I didn't have much time to practice so fingers crossed praying to Jesus and hoping that all will be well. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm gonna email the prof and we'll see how how things go. Alrighty, so I'm done with my parasitology theory finals. I did feel that I was a bit pressed for time, so I was a bit stressed, but nothing that A-levels didn't prepare me for. But yeah, with that said, it was a fun experience. Like, I felt kind of giddy when I was able to um, answer the questions without referring to my notes because I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm, I can actually be a vet. I, I know clinical knowledge that can be applicable in a clinical setting. So yeah, I feel kind of happy about that. I feel like I'm slowly stepping my way up to be a, a vet. I know that vet school doesn't prepare you enough to be a vet, but you know, like I'm slowly building up the knowledge. Hey, another thing that I want to improve on, I felt that I had to do more practice to be more familiar with the content being taught because right now I'm still referring to notes a lot and I can't memorize. For example, if you give me fasciola hepatica, I can't tell you the life cycle right now <laughs> because in a clinical setting, I can't always be referring to my notes. So hopefully I'll be able to streamline my studying process so I can be a better vet and to be a better vet student. Otherwise, yeah, I'm. let me just head back to cramming for my livestock science. Life goes on. So most of the day was actually spent clarifying my genetics concept and doing genetics MCQ questions. As much as genetics is kind of similar to the ones we learn in A-levels, it was kind of complicated for me because I didn't like calculations, I didn't like numbers, and genetics has always never been my strongest topic. stretching again while watching YouTube videos of Australian van lifers living the life. Then for my night study session, it's not gonna lie, it was half procrastinating and half trying to do the remaining of my 100 question MCQ. For this study blog, I was doing mostly livestock industry questions, so questions like a dairy cow's gestation length, and my favorite section, which is the camelids section, how to differentiate alpacas and llamas. 
And here's the fun fact of the day. Alpacas have straight and symmetrical ears, while llamas have banana-shaped ears. And that night, I rediscovered my childhood cartoon that I watched as an 8-year-old. I found out it was an Italian cartoon. But yeah, it was pretty sick. I watched the entire season. So you see this footage of me that looks like I'm studying? I'm not. I'm just procrastinating at this point. Yeah, right now I'm still going through my practice papers, but this time around, focusing more on the minute details and the mistakes I've made. So right now it's just more of fine-tuning my knowledge before I sit for my finals in a few hours time. No one in the cafe right now, so my mask is off. Today's finals is also a predominantly multiple choice finals. 100 MCQs and two short answers. Part one of my finals is going to be genetics and the mechanisms of genetics like epistatic gene, whatever I learned in A level biology, and some add ons to that crossbreeding and inbreeding coefficients. Part two of my finals is going to be livestock science, the general knowledge I need to know about. Cattle, pigs, chickens, the industry standards, and how to breed them basically. Yeah. questions actually felt really suffocating, not gonna lie, like both because of the sheer amount of PDFs and notes I have open on my computer and iPad, <laughs> I do not recommend that. Yeah, my eyes got really tired, it's two hours of my eyes just glued on two different screens. Also another thing I like to add is something that I really appreciate about back school right now is I'm really enjoying the content I'm learning right now. I feel like I'm actually learning something useful instead of something general to get ahead of the bell curve. So that's a good thing and nobody is com that competitive about grades. Yeah, I really appreciate that about that school here. And I really like learning the content I'm learning right now. So. Welcome to my bathroom. I am off to take a shit and a shower and I'm headed off to bed. I didn't do any of the tasks that I set out to do because I ended up eating cake with my friend because it's her birthday and her birthday is more important than any exam so I love you. And I got a bit tired, my eyes are tired, my brain is tired and but yeah another reason why I was so mentally taxed because today on my finals day, we received the news that Singaporean students can go back to Australia. So, basically, I'm gonna go back to Australia. I have never been there for school. I have been there for holidays, but not for school. So, I'm excited. Hopefully, I can visit Rado and, you know, not drown in work next year. Have some time for some road trips and, yeah. 
Life's great. We received good news today. Jesus is the good news, and going to Australia is also the good news, okay? Yeah, okay, I'm too tired. Goodbye, guys. I'm rambling. Goodbye. Good morning. It's a. Uh, I can't even talk. Uh, it's not a good day. Today. <laughs> Let's just say I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay. Today's the day of just doing my assignments and you know probably relaxing because the bulk of my finals are done. And yeah, I'll catch you later. I'm gonna do my work now in a totally separate space because my room's gonna heat up and I probably can't focus after that. So this assignment is a poster that I need to come up with that has to do with flow down gradients in physiology. It's kind of my brainstorming process before I put my assignment together. My strategy of attacking this task was to write down all the information regarding the gradients in one page and then organizing the ideas in the next page. Okay, this is a bit too high. Okay, so what have I been up to? Almost completed my assignment. It's just a few little tweaks and a few little edits to my drawings, my scientific drawings. And then after that, I'll just submit it and tomorrow I have work again. Final season and work is not a good combination, but we have to make do. I forgot that I was having finals in November and I submitted my work schedule. I decided to get really nauseous by staring at my iPad screen to do my poster. On the bright side, I did kind of finish my poster. So yay! That's a good thing. Today I have work again and yeah we'll see how it is. It's a school holiday so I may be really busy at work. I recognize that I'm privileged enough to be able to take a break during final season. I, final season has been not been kind to most of us and yeah I am grateful that I have I can take less exams because of my advanced standing and I could take like a full day off if I wanted to for a, you know, like a mental break, you know. I recognize that some people don't get to do that during their finals and I'm sorry you have to go through finals that way. Uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna take a break and I'm grateful for the break. See you on Wednesday and Thursday where I'm gonna start revising for my parasitology exam. So what happened was, I got tested by anti-doping SG because I'm part of the registered pool to be tested, my P to be tested. Life is great, isn't it? 
Yeah, but the aunties been really nice about it. They waited with me. Like, oh, you know, life goes on as per usual. But yeah, it's really inconvenient. I don't like it. And what they tested, they tested my pee, and then I had to pour my pee into test tubes, and then they have to package it and send it off to the labs. Hopefully, I am not drugged up. I could go on my jolly way back to my home and back to studying. Today, my dad and I went out to a cafe to study slash to work because my mom decided to go for yoga lessons. So we needed food somewhere. I have a practical parasit parasitology practical at 2 p.m. today. It's one and a half hours. It has 20 questions with four parts, so effectively 80 questions for me to answer in 90 minutes. So we'll see how I fare. Um, one thing about this exam is that you cannot skip back to your previous question. So if you're stumped by any question, you need to answer it before you move on because you can't go back. I mean, I get that this is to prevent students from cheating, but it's a pain in the ass if you think about it. I'm not about to pay $6,000 again to take this unit again. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so a little insight of what I'm studying for my practical exam. I have them on my iPad. So number one, it's Spirometra Arena C Europe. Try to say that 10 times. Epilidium caninum, Tania hydatogena. Also, I don't know if I'm butchering the pronunciations. I'm just pronouncing how I thought my lecturers pronounced it. So science people out there, don't please don't come at me. I'm done with finals and I received an email that I can go to Australia next year. Life is good. Just like that, um, year one of vet school is over and yeah, it feels really surreal that it's over, <laughs> it's done. I'm done with year one in vet school. You know how you're running through the motion and you don't really realize what you're doing? Yeah, that was me for the entire year and now that finals are over, you know, it kind of set in that I'm actually in vet school and I've completed year one out of five of my education. I feel really grateful that I've, I'm able to finish year one. I'm in Singapore and yeah I remember in JC and in secondary school when I had school trips to the zoo or I was volunteering at the zoo for a bit. Uh, I used to stare at the vet clinic for as long as, as I could before my parents reached to pick me up or um, before my shift started. Um, I would just stare at it and I remember touring the vet facility. Yeah, it was really surreal that I'm in vet school and I've completed one year. When it felt like a, a lifetime ago. <laughs> when it felt like a lifetime ago, I was still thinking of trying to go into vet school. And yeah, in JC, it felt like such a long journey to be where I am now. and. It's setting in that I'm in vet school and I've completed one year and <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I'm really grateful. I'll end off this video with a montage of this beautiful place. <laughs>